So today we're going to be talking about Copenhagen. We're going to be going over the capsules, the stickers, uh, and some other Copenhagen related stuff talking about why I think that there is some recent bad news that has come out for Copenhagen. Obviously, um, there's a lot of people who have been pretty down on Copenhagen overall ever since its release, ever since it was announced that they were going to be borderless yet again, and ever since a lot of people got burned by Paris, of course, it left kind of a sour taste in a lot of people's mouth. A lot of people are wary and wanting to stay away and all that stuff, and I totally understand it, um, but we're going to be giving updates and going over all that good stuff today. Um, but first, just want to mention real quick, if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items, maybe cash out your entire inventory, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Uh, I'm buying almost anything and everything for the right price. And if you're looking to turn your items into cold, hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, you should definitely hit me up. We can probably get a deal done. Uh, it allows you to cash out safely, effectively and efficiently. You don't have to worry about getting scammed or anything weird going on. Uh, and of course, you're helping support me, my channel and my content, which I would appreciate a ton. Um, with that being said, let's get right into today's video. So first, I want to start off um, by giving an update on these. This is the Copenhagen viewer pass from 2024. Obviously, these were a hot um, topic of discussion uh, a couple of months ago because um, they were removed uh, a lot earlier than a lot of people thought they were going to. So they spiked up in price. You know, they went from $11 to $30 overnight. Then they had this run up all the way to $67. I'm pretty sure people bought them for even more than $67. Um, but as you can see, they've kind of been going down since then 45% down um, over the past month. So if you were somebody that bought them, you know, in the 40, 50, 60 dollar range, um, I don't know where exactly you're going to be sitting at in the long term because obviously um, there aren't very many of these Copenhagen viewer passes out there because many people thought they would have much more time to buy them or invest in them or whatever. Um, but also for the Copenhagen viewer pass, I don't think the viewer pass plus tokens uh, is able to be redeemed uh, after the fact now. I think in CSGO there was like a bug or glitch or whatever where you could um, actually redeem the viewer pass and tokens afterwards. So it actually gave the token some value later on. These don't have that. So um, the Copenhagen viewer pass has maybe been less valuable than some of the other previous ones, the, the ones with the tokens at least. So uh, I don't know. I don't really see uh, at this price point these making sense as a long-term investment or any kind of investment. That's kind of what I said back then as well. Um, and obviously, people who bought them, like I said, at sixty, fifty, forty dollars, have kind of been hurting. But I just kind of want to give an update on this because we haven't looked looked at or talked about this in quite some time. Um, but yeah, overall, obviously, if you bought these uh, before they went off sale, you made a killing. Um, but if you bought them anytime else, uh, you're probably not doing so hot. Um, but obviously, one of the things I want to talk about the bad news mainly for Copenhagen right now is this, and this is what a lot of people feared and kind of what a lot of people expected. Um, Ross CSGO tweeted out this, and this was June 10th. This was three days ago. Um, the Copenhagen major sale has been running for 45 days. So we are now on 48, closing in on 50 days going for this sale. Um, the Paris sale major uh, lasted 106 days, which is just absolutely insane. Obviously, nobody expected the Paris sale to last that long, and it's pretty disgusting um, that it lasted that long. And that's obviously one of the main reasons why Paris did not do so well. Uh, obviously, Paris was maybe doomed from the beginning because just the over-investment and the over-exuberance in it. Um, you know, the, the market expectations were so high that it was never going to be possible to live up to that. Um, but obviously the sale lasting 106 days did not help either. Um, but he does say that, yeah, this is insane. It seems like, you know, Copenhagen, I don't even really see people talk about Copenhagen anymore or really care about Copenhagen anymore. And that's insane because the sale's not even over. People are already past this yet. The sale is still going on. And as he says, we might not even be halfway done. Um, and what is absolutely insane is that if this sale, uh, is the same same as Paris, this sale could last, last all the way until August. It would put us at August 10th if it lasts the exact same as a Paris sale. And that is crazy. And that just kind of puts into perspective just how ridiculous and insane the Paris sale was. Now, obviously, maybe the Paris sale was a little bit unique. Sales were so good um, that Valve had incentive to keep it going, but also they were working on CS2 um, at the time. So maybe they had uh, some, some other stuff going on. They weren't necessarily focused on Paris. So the Copenhagen, maybe it won't last as long. But again, even the 45-day sale, this is a, a long sale. This is, um, you know, Know, something that is continuing to drag on and on and on. And that definitely hurts um, the long-term uh, investment aspect of it. Now, could it end up still being a good investment in the long term? Yeah, but the longer the sale goes on, the longer you're going to have to hold these things. Um, and the longer you're going to have to hold these things, the longer uh, and higher percent chance Valve has putting out uh, more borderless stickers in that time. You know, you don't want to hold or be waiting for three, four, five years for this uh, stuff. And then in the meantime, you know, Valve has put out 
10 new borderless sticker sets in that meantime. You know, I don't really know. Um, obviously, right now, overall, the market is very negative against borderless stickers because we've just seen so many of them. And also, the crazy thing here is, again, if the sale does go on to August 10th, the, the Shanghai Major is going to be right around the corner. Shanghai Major, I believe, starts in December. Um, you know, qualifying stuff for that's going to be in November. Uh, that's going to put us three or four months away from that. So then, really, as soon as the Copenhagen sale ends, Shanghai is going to be right around the corner, and there's already going to be speculations and fears of whether that's going to be borderless or not. There's going to be all that, um, you know, talk and discussion, and that's obviously going to, to hamper um, the value of Copenhagen as well. Now, I do believe with all these borderless stickers, with Stockholm, Copenhagen, Antwerp, Paris, all this stuff, um, that eventually we are going to start getting bordered sticker sets again. And at that time, um, I think that's obviously when a lot of these bordered, uh, borderless stickers can start healing and start seeing that rebound. Um, but man, for, for right now, with this sale still going on and really not having any signs of stopping or slowing down or whatever, um, you know, the, the most recent update we heard was that Copenhagen sales were, were closer to Stockholm and Antwerp than they were to Paris. You know, Copenhagen is definitely not as uh, high quantity or as high selling as Paris. But the thing is, Stockholm and Antwerp also had uh, sales that were not as long as Paris. So even if Copenhagen doesn't have those high uh, quantity volume sale numbers of Paris, if the sale goes on, you know, twice as long as Antwerp or twice as long as Stockholm, um, that's still going to really hurt its investment potential and make it much worse um, than Stockholm and Antwerp, uh, even if the sale numbers are um, relatively the same for the same amount of time. But then again, if you increase that time, it's going to increase that. So this is bad news for Copenhagen. Uh, I really do believe that. Um, it is also interesting. We are now seeing the capsule starting to drop below 25 cents uh, within the last couple of days drop below 25 cents on the steam market which is interesting obviously because um, the sales going on you can still buy them for 25 cents so I'm not really sure why that would be going on but the the capsules are dropping and obviously that's going to be making the stickers drop as well um, we did see a run-up with most of these stickers um, over the past couple weeks um, but then now they are dropping right back down um, and again I, I think obviously the price is dropping is a good sign overall because the only way I would buy a lot of these stickers is if they're at very 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 low prices you know most of these stickers you should not be buying for over a dollar you know, if you're paying over a dollar for many of these stickers, you're probably going to be getting um, a bad price in the long term. Um, but we're seeing big, big, big drop off. You know, last five days, Amcall down 23%. Um, Legacy uh, in the last five days down 20%. We are seeing Ecstatic in the last five days um, down 21%. We have Saw uh, in the last five days down 15%. Starting to have a little bit of a rebound. Um, the Lin Vision on the higher end uh, down 15% in the last five days. Koi uh, in the last five days down 10%. So it's holding up a little bit better in some of the other ones, but um, even those high-end stickers still down 10 to 15% in the last week or so. And obviously, uh, like I said, I don't really see any signs of it slowing down anytime soon. I could see uh, plenty of these Copenhagen stickers continuing to fall uh, really until the end of the sale. And then even after the end of the sale, continuing to fall, especially as we get closer and closer to Shanghai. So eventually the Copenhagen stickers uh, could be a good purchase. Uh, who knows? Um, but I don't really see any uh, opportunities to buy them for the foreseeable future because they already had this run up. Now they're kind of crashing back down. This is The sale's going to end when the sale's going to end. We don't know. And then it's going to run us right into Shanghai. And if new border the stickers come out, then that's going to hurt these once again. So um, now it just seems like a really, really weird time for Copenhagen. Obviously, if you are somebody who just wants stickers or a craft with them or whatever, um, maybe now is becoming a better time to buy them because they're, they're getting much cheaper. Um, but uh, as far as an investment, again, I don't really see a great buying opportunity or a great entry point at this time. Uh, one of the best performing stickers from the set, however, uh, has been the Z4KR, um, which has been a little bit interesting. It is still down over the past week, 11%. Um, but this one did hit some very, very crazy highs up to $30.56 for the hollow. I know the gold for this one is done very well as well. Um, people are really liking um, the Z4KR uh, autograph sticker. Um, so maybe it's something to keep an eye on as well. Again, if the price continues to drop, you could maybe get this one for an attractive price at some point. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. For most of Copenhagen, things are looking pretty bad and I don't know how long the sale is going to last. If we're going to get to Paris level numbers on the sale or if it's going to end sooner rather than later. But if the sale does end sooner rather than later, that could be a really good, uh, could be a nice little bump for a lot of these stickers because I think people expect the sale is going to last a long time. Um, so if the sale ends up lasting not as long as people expect, um, that could be good for Copenhagen overall. But again, I'm not holding my breath for that to happen. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully, catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.